imagery has a quality of movement to it and an interaction with light that I'm really interested, especially how light changes as the figure moves. It is a unique look. It's quite different from how most painters paint. I take short films of my subjects. I place them in the setting, I dress them, I give them as minimal instructions as possible and just ask them to move in the space that I've given them. A lot of artists place their subjects in a stationary position. I don't do that. I keep my subject moving. I like the way that gives the figure and the image a sense of movement and subtlety. My painting style also is very light application of paint, not heavy, moving and fluid. What struck me most about Sarah's oil paintings is the uh, the whole feeling I had when looking at the work, my sense was that I was in the middle of a beautiful story, dreamlike, almost a memory. The lighting, the mood, everything is organized and arranged by Sarah in order to create this wonderful outcome. The actual film that I was looking at was a film made in France called The Diving Bell and the Butterfly. The cinematographer for that was Polish-American cinematographer Janusz Kaminski, who he was also the cinematographer for Lincoln. I just watched that movie. The quality of the imagery was very European and soft, and it had an elusive, dreamlike quality. When I saw the painting, I wanted to take each painting and develop my own story. I see myself as a creator of a space in which the viewer can come in and get what they get from it. I try not to direct my viewer too much. I work with a theme, but I'm very interested in what experience the viewer has when they come across the work and how they respond to it.